you may display cabinet to be constructed to suit the small retro space in a teenager's rumpus room. The client, Ken Dingley, has requested a timber display cabinet that is inexpensive to manufacture as he cannot afford an expensive product as a consequence of being a middle income earner. This product needed to have shelving to store die-cast model cars as well as a large drawer to store remote controls, video games, etc. With this in mind, this is the design we came up with. It all began with these pieces of Tasmanian oak, 135 wide by 42mm thick and 19mm thick. These pieces here were cut to rough sizes on the drop saw, ready to be dominoed to be formed into the base pieces. Here we are gluing these base pieces. They were comprised of four pieces of 42mm Tasmanian oak that had been domino widened together. Similarly, these 19mm pieces of timber were cut into rough sizes and then dominoed, creating our shelves for the project. Sash clamps were used and PVA as an adhesive to create these shelves. Once the shelves were glued, they were put through the wide belt sander. By doing so, we created a flat and smooth surface for the shelves. Following this, we prepared for the process of creating our frames. This was done by setting up the drop saw at a 45 degree angle and dominoing these angles. They were then glued by using 6mm thick dominoes, webbing clamps and PVA glue. Jigs were then created in order for the router to create our cross halving joints for the frames. The cross halving joints were glued with PVA and quick grips. The glued frames with the cross halving joints were then put onto the table router. This process was outsourced as students cannot use the table router. This was in order to create the inset for the glass to sit and here I am using the chisel and mallet to square off the corners for the glass to sit perfectly. Prior to gluing the carcass, the side of the frames needed to be dominoed in order to join with these rails. The project was then dry fit to ensure we had enough clamps for the project. Once it was dry fit, we used PVA glue, quick grips, sash clamps and a few F clamps to glue the project together. Squareness was ensured by using tri-squares and measuring diagonals. Once complete, we made sure all the glue was wiped off. In order for the door to fit, taking into consideration hinges, we used the rail saw to trim the door. School holidays arrived and I took my project home in my mom's fiesta. The bottom of the project was then glued to the main carcass using quick grips and sash clamps. Epoxy resin was used rather than PVA as it is a stronger adhesive being able to tolerate the weight of the project. A jig was then created for the router to follow in order to create the rebate joints for the drawer. With the rebate joints complete, the drawer was put together using PVA glue and a staple gun. We used a tri-square to ensure it was square. A decorative edge was then created for the drawer front using a router bit with a ball bearing. This followed the piece creating a nice chamfer. The next process was to sand the project. We began using an 80 grit paper and worked up to 320 for smoothness prior to finishing. Particularly with the mitre joint frames and the cross halving joints, I had to consider the varying grain directions. By doing so, I put tape on areas I did not want to sand at a particular moment to ensure the timber was not scratched. Once the project had been sanded, I began finishing using a clear varnish. This created a satin finish, bringing out the natural colour and end grain of the timber. We applied three coats to protect the timber in a dust-free environment. Steel wool was mildly rubbed in between coats in order to achieve the best finish. The drawer front was then glued to the project. Using a glue gun, silicon was slowly applied to the trenches of all frames. This was in order to hold the 4mm thick glass. We had to be careful of the sharp edges of the glass. 
all the hardware was then fitted including the hinges for the doors, the draw pull and the door handle. So there you have it, the timber display cabinet successfully adhered to the client's needs having several areas of storage for his cars as well as a large drawer fitting the retro theme of the rumpus room.